Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2024. ISC is the largest integration systems show in the world, right here in Barcelona. So Paul, can you tell us how you're positioned in the ProAV broadcast market? We actually span loads of different segments actually because the Atomos products are so versatile that we really appeal to single content creators, all the way through to corporate, education, and then we're into sort of broadcast and cine and episodic and scripted workflows as well. Talk to me about some of the trends that you're seeing with regards to your technology in the industry. Huge trends. One massive one is, is cloud production. And that's really what we're showing here at, on the IAC booth. Um, we've got cloud, cloud production. That is a massive, massive growth industry. Um, and we're really, I guess cloud production really in the last few years has come on from being something that started off as a proof of concept to something that's really maturing, it's really robust. And at Atomus, we're really sort of dedicated to making that accessible to the masses and at an affordable price. And what are you showcasing here at ISE this year? So we concentrated on two areas, I think because of the type of show it is. Again, live production, which is going on behind us, which is virtualizing all of those features that you'd find on a high-end outside broadcast all into the cloud using Atomos hardware as the almost like the edge device connecting to the cloud. So it means you can use a Ninja or a Shogun with the connected, uh, our connected products to be uh, a viewfinder, tally, talkback, video source. It's a full live production suite and then all the features of a live production are all virtualized in the cloud and then, of course, because you're connected to what we call Atoms Cloud Studio, you can send them to any destination. So at the moment, we're going out live on YouTube and we're going out on Twitch at the same time. We're going out in a horizontal format and a vertical format all at the same time. But we're not, we haven't got racks and racks of hardware here. It's all virtualized in the cloud. So, Paul, what else are you showing apart from live production? The other thing we're showing here is our expansion of NDI support. So, We've been supporting NDI TX on our Ninja and Shoguns for quite a while. Really popular. We're just about to roll out NDI RX. That's on the HX2 format. Um, so we'll have TX and RX on HX2 for both Ninja and Shogun very soon. And also we're just about to roll out NDI RX HX2 for our Zato Connect product. Now that is an incredible powerhouse of a product because it's such an affordable, low-cost product. It receives NDI. It's got a nice five inch monitor. It can record that NDI stream on an SD card. Not only NDI, it can, uh, you can add graphics to it, you can use it for streaming, and you can use it for camera to cloud. So that's what we're also showing here. Fantastic. And talk to us about some of your latest developments. We've been building on the live production. We've just uh, announced a whole new suite of live production types of show with loads more features crammed in there in terms of VT playback, DVE, image players. So literally every feature that you can imagine that you would need to produce a polished live production, like behind me, whether you've got wipes, you've got DVE, all those things are just built into the cloud. You can spin up any type of show you want using our hardware and create that polished production. And who are you targeting with this and what are the future use perspective cases? Well, I think right at the moment, you're, we're seeing a huge sort of attach rate from main broadcasters that have their existing infrastructure and their existing programming, and they want to uh, create additional bolt-on content. So they may want to take some feeds in from their other broadcasts, but then produce a spin-off content, maybe for social or maybe for a YouTube channel. Uh, we're seeing a lot in education and corporate. Um, and I think because it's so accessible, because there's literally no hardware to lump around everywhere, that we, we're finding that corporate world is, is becoming very interested in it. And maybe they weren't even thinking that they could produce a quality live production in the past, but now they can. Really exciting times. And what does the future hold for Atomos? We're going to keep pushing all of our cloud services. So the, the advantage of our hardware being connected to Atomos Cloud Studio has been the gateway is that we can build those connected, all the different destinations and keep adding to them really, really quickly. So you'll see an increase in live production. Uh, camera to cloud is another, another really big usage for our customers of 
getting content directly off the camera into the cloud to edit and collaborate. We have Atomus Edit, which is a, another uh, platform that we link to from our own platform from Atomus Cloud Studio, which is a web browser-based edit platform. You can link to that. You can just stream directly from our devices using our using our cloud. So I think it's really, the answer to your question is really expanding on all those different destinations from our gateway of Atomus Cloud Studio. Really exciting times. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks.